Hi guys, the video you're about to see was shot about three months ago and I had planned this review with a giveaway to air it just as the San Francisco shelter in place was taking effect. So it was not planned obviously because the shelter in place just all of a sudden happened. And because of that, I decided to postpone my review for Le Loden. I shot the review with Dahlia and no, we did not meet during the uh, shelter in place to shoot the review. As I said, it was shot about three months ago. And this happens to be a great, great vetiver, which I'm obsessed with as a smell. But you are going to find out all about Le Loden today. And also in the video, you'll find out about these wonderful t-shirts that I've started having made, uh, all focused on notes. So this one happens to be around vetiver. This is forever vetiver. And today's uh, fragrance, of course, features vetiver, not only in the top notes and the heart notes, but also in the base notes. So this is a vetiver lover's dream come true. Anyway, if you're curious to discover this one, stick around. Back with another video for you today. Today we're talking about a fragrance called Le Loden from the house of Jacques Fat. This is it right here. We're going to review this and also tell you about this wonderful Forever Vetiver t-shirt. So, if you want to find out about Lelo Den and have a chance at winning a full bottle worldwide and also learn about this t-shirt, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. That's right, we're talking about Lelo Den today, a fragrance from the house of Jacques Fat, who is known for green water, they used to design clothing. They are no longer a designer house. So we are considering this a niche house. And I'm going to tell you all about this fragrance today, which I've been featuring it in a lot of different videos. And also let you know about this fabulous Forever Vetiver t-shirt. this is not from Jacques Fat. No, this, this is, is from... This is something I came up with. So we're going to tell you all about it. But if this is your first time landing on this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, and of course participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So yeah, Lelo Den is a fragrance that I discovered last year. It's beautiful. And I've been featuring it in various different videos um, here and there. It was on my... Uh, spring fragrances video and I feel like this is perfect for spring especially if it's raining out there because it's not necessarily really cold uh, rain it's a little on the warmer side and I feel like vetiver and humid rain warm rain is a great combo I don't know if you share that I'm as not well. specific about the rain that goes with my vetiver I think cold rain works as well it is it does tend to have a sort of dampness like a marshland feel to it mm -hmm. to me um, this is quite lovely quite quite lovely and I... Do you know about the brand Jacques Fat? No, I didn't know they were a clothing house. I a long time ago they used to be. They're known for a fragrance called Green Water okay. and also Iri La Fat or Iri de Fat uh, which is their most famous iris fragrance which is really really pricey mm. uh, but this is a brand new creation for the new niche house of Jacques Fat because they're no longer making Clothing. They're not designing clothes. What we have here is a 2018 launch, Le Loden, Perfumer's Luca Maffei. This is considered a woody fragrance or a woody aromatic because there's a lot of aromatic touches here. If you don't know Luca Maffei, you can look on my channel and find out about Luca Maffei. I have an interview on, on the channel uh, with him. And for notes, we've got at the top, green mandarin, Haiti vetiver, fresh ginger, pink pepper. In the heart, you have bourbon geranium, bourbon vetiver, raspberry leaf absolute, juniper berries. In the base, you have ylang ylang, java vetiver, tobacco and patchouli. Start off with a variety of vetiver. You go into the heart with a variety of vetiver, and then you go into the base with a variety of vetiver. And the magnetic cap is amazing. That sound is also amazing. That's very satisfying. I'm, I'm going to stop doing that. It's a pretty heavy-duty cap, isn't it? Yeah, that was that was that was on point. I've been a fan of Luca Maffei's fragrances. He's done some uh, great fragrances. He's created fragrances for Hubagon, Paris Mont. I think Paris Monte Carlo and a few other brands, but uh, he's done a few for this house as well. Not a few, probably several. But this one really, really stood out because I do love vetiver. Vetiver smells great. And this one actually, they've taken it to the next level because I think it has the three different layers of vetiver that you're experiencing when you're wearing it. So I just sprayed some on my hand. The first sort of wave or the first impression is a smoky, almost, almost animalic vetiver. Really? Okay. Almost uh, smoky vetiver to start. I don't really, like I initially, when you sprayed it first, 
got the ginger and the pepper and the sort of uh, spicy, more ar aromatic notes, but on me it kind of went straight to this almost animalic, smoky place to start. But then it started to lift a little bit and into more of a slightly alcohol, sharper uh, feeling. What I like about this is the contrast of the very earthy, slightly damp, uh, dark vetiver with that zingy ginger and a little bit of that raspberry leaf uh, absolute and the juniper berries, which gives it more of an aromatic experience. So there's some slight touches of fruits, but not necessarily f all the way fruits because it's the leaf absolute and not the actual fruit. So there's a little bit of a fruity touch, but not quite. It's just a great way to experience because you're basically experiencing mostly vetiver with some contrast of the notes that uh, we mentioned or I mentioned. And uh, as it's drying down, it is drying down to more tobacco and then of course uh, patchouli. Now they do credit ylang ylang on here, but I don't experience that much, especially in the dry down because what's, what I'm left with is a woody vetiver patchouli, but very gorgeous. It's become my new favorite vetiver fragrance and uh, I just love wearing it. And as I said, for me, I love wearing it in the rain and if it's even humid, not necessarily humid, but warm rain, it actually just comes alive. It just kind of amplifies off of my body. It feels like it should be masculine. It's unisex, but it's, um, it's kind of a dark, smoky, um, kind of a feeling. I actually could see this working in the autumn as well as the spring. Oh, I think it's great in the autumn. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like it's a transitional sort of a, not transitional, but uh, it's very calming. Calming, huh? I, yeah. Yeah. It's it's like, like a smoky fire. Like if you had a slightly damp wood or slightly damp grasses that you were uh, burning, there's, there's some element of that. But smoldering, not fully smoky. So you're experiencing the the wetness along with the burning dry at the same time? Yeah and the smoky quality has has started to evaporate and now there's more of just like a sort of um, brown alcohol with it for me like I don't I wouldn't be able to tell a whiskey from a bourbon necessarily. Oh you're talking about like a liqueur a brown liqueur? Like a brown alcohol yeah like like almost like a well it does say bur bourbon geranium and bourbon vetiver. I think that's a place. I it is a place a... yeah so it's a variety of geranium and vetiver from this island I believe it's isn't it the island <gasps> off of Madagascar? I don't know. Called Reunion? I don't know. Anyway, I'm guessing, but I think I might be right. If you guys know, put a comment down. But do you generally like vetiver, and do, or do you feel like vetiver is more masculine versus a feminine uh, note? I don't know if masculine, if, if vetiver is masculine or if my association with vetiver is masculine. I have some vetivers in my collection. They're better for me in hot weather, mm. um, personally. Would you wear this in hot weather? No, that's why this is so unusual. This one feels like a cooler one for me. Wearing it in the cooler weather. Personally, but I, it's also a little bit chilly here today, so maybe that's coloring my judgment. Hmm. This one actually is pretty big upon initial spray. I think you get about 45 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes. Then it's become more calm. It becomes more of a skin set within two hours. Uh, which is fine, but I don't find vetivers to be projecting too much. I, I never find them, even in the designers. Or Hindu grass. Hindu grass projects? On me. Um, I think you might think this projects on you, and uh, no, I mean, when I you wear it. I have I have brought my hand to my face to smell it. Because I don't me. find Hindu grass. I don't find any Nelsomatos to project. Really? Not on me. I don't know, I'll have to try Hindu grass. But we tried to figure out what Le Loden is, and even though it was explained to me, uh, it's a, some kind of a jacket, I think, but I couldn't figure it out what it really means. You should ask them to tell us. If you guys comments. know, let us know. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this t-shirt now. So I have been working on creating some t-shirts focused on specific notes, and we're starting out with one called Forever Vetiver, which I'm wearing. I'm wearing it too. And Dahlia's wearing. So we're starting out with Vetiver because I love Vetiver and fragrances, and these are for sale now. And uh, I do have a link in the info box. You can go check it out. And they are shipped North America and also EU. They're very soft. They're it's not like rough cotton. They're nice. This is a, yeah, this is the, um, the more expensive variety of t-shirts I decided to create with Teespring. Anyway, it's Forever Vetiver, as you can see. It was specially made for me by a great designer, so um, they're available now. But with in regards to Leloden, 
We do have a full bottle giveaway, thanks to the folks at Jacques Fat. We are doing a full bottle, and they are doing a large size. I think it's 100 ml. I have the 50 ml here. I think this is 50 ml. Do you think it's 50 or 30? But if you want to participate in our giveaway for a Lelo Den, a bottle of Lelo Den, one lucky subscriber of this channel will get a chance to win worldwide. Please put down what you liked about the idea of Le Lelo Den, and also let us know what your favorite, current favorite vetiver is. And what else? And it is a 50 ml, this one. It's a 50 ml. Okay, so you will, ge you will be winning 100 ml if you win. Um, and then just let us uh, put down your country uh, where you're commenting from to qualify and make sure to like this video and also to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. So in order to be eligible to win, you have to like this. Please like this video. You have to like this video. You have to subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel. You have to tell us what you liked about Lilo What Dan. do you liked about... Lelo Den. You have to tell us what other vetivers you like. Yeah, what vetiver is your current favorite? And that's it. And that's it. So four things. Oh, in what country? Did I say that? I don't remember. Oh. Put down your country as well. But, but really do. Tell us what country. <laughs> Thanks. Do we have anything else to say about Lelo Den? It's really nice. It's classy, isn't it? Yeah, it's versatile. Anyway, thanks so much for watching today. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Hey gang, we're back with another video for you today. Creepy. Is it ghosts? Hey gang! <laughs> <laughs> There's no ghosts here. You know for a fact this building is haunted. You told me. It did sound like somebody. Ooh, somebody's popping through under there. You're horrible. <laughs> I'm just kidding.